Hey, hey, pilots, thanks for stopping by to check out another Keys to Winning video. We're going to do some domination action here today. I'm your host, Gotcha Beacons. Hey, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Make a comment, uh, like the episode if you like it, and for sure, share it with me. That would be great. Well, let's start by taking a look at my Domination Close Map deck, guys. These are all nimble, more knife fighter builds designed for maps that have a, a lot of cover. We got Whizbang, he's my Mag Blitz, and I've got the uh, Anti-Control Module and the Advanced Repair Unit. I've got Clive for his uh, Legendary Pilot and got a lot of great piloting skills on him, and that's Whizbang. <laughs> and then we got Mjolnir, he's back in my deck, and I uh, love him. He's got the Cryo Weapons, Anti-Control for him because he rushes in, and he's got the Repair Unit. I'll get that re Advanced Repair Unit on it shortly. There are his uh, piloting skills, not a Legendary, but he still does a great job. <laughs> then we got Sucker Punch. He's got the Sonic Weapon on him guys and then I just got a battle board so his his first encounter is really really uh, durable and he's got the advanced repair unit and there is his legendary pilot skills and then we've got Sir Nightmare I, I went him uh, he's up my Nightingale I went him uh, with the um, the uh, questionnaire uh, he's got the nuclear reactor and uh, a lot of good piloting skills with the legendary pilot there and the advanced repair unit and then we got everyone's favorite, Diablo. He's got corkers and the flamethrower on him with anti-control so he can rush around and definitely phase shift to save his arse a lot. And lots of piloting skills, great ones there too. And then we've got my Titan. My Titan is a Nodens and I call her Hail Mary. Kinda looks like a gal with the cyclones on her. And then she's got stock uh, modules as well. The modules and the weapons are all up to level nine. And there you go guys, that is my closed map deck. I'm gonna call this battle Nobody. And you're definitely gonna have to stick around at the end to find out why. And we're gonna open up with Yolnir. This is my Phantom. I got the Rhymes and Cryos on him. And uh, I usually uh, open up with either him or Sucker Punch, just depending. But he's a great uh, build for a closed map deck like this. So closed map, I mean, it's basically lots of cover and, uh, and not a lot of long range opportunities. So don't need anyone like a uh, major pain. So these are all nimble, more knife fighter ones, a lot of short range weapon that I can run in and use cover and you know not a lot of uh, again not a lot of range bots but a lot of quick more nimble uh, faster builds that can zip around the uh, corners and all like that uh, Loki there too now now that Loki he's coming out pretty early but they definitely are a handful and you never want to ignore one ever never ever you know although they don't look like much uh, they can certainly wreck a battle and uh, you're gonna find that one out here a little bit later here uh, but here is sucker punch this is my Scorpion, and he has got the uh, the sonic weapons on him, so those are sound blasters. When they take uh, uh, damage out of you, that damage cannot be healed up, and that's what's so great about them. They're very high damage per second weaponry. Uh, they charge up while I'm uh, cooling down. It's a perfect uh, balance between the weapons and uh, combination, I should say, between the weapons and the, uh, and the, you know, the type of bot and the type of... Uh, fighting that he does. His ability matches up perfectly with the, look at see, boom, 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 and then I can disappear. That's what's so awesome about this combination. It really is the quintessential build. If you have a Scorpion, definitely consider getting those uh, those sonic weapons. They're just about as good as they come. Uh, and I'm gonna hop back here, get this guy out if I can, and then jump back. And oh my gosh, that was a Titan already. Man, I tell you what, people sometimes get like to get in their Titans really quick like, um, but that's okay. Um, I gotta get out of there and sometimes I lose track of who's who and I think I'm gonna get ready to hop in on a, on a I'm gonna do it. This is a bad idea. I don't even know why I wasn't even thinking. That was a very bad move. <laughs> and Sucker Punch is just about out of it. Yeah, there you go, there's Orbital Strike. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Whiz Bang and this is my Mag Blitz. He is a fearless, ferocious little guy um, and uh, he's gonna run around and see what he can do now obviously I'm going after nothing but beacons that's what you always want to be doing is going after the beacons and I knew that scorpion was gonna reappear there so I was just gonna wait for him grab his beacons rub him out and there you go now um wow those things are tough those are um, those uh, it's like a vortex uh, but it's for the um watch this guys that little roof there it's amazing how good it can do now I realized I still got chunked down and I think I'm getting ready to be uh, hammered out here pretty quick like and whiz bang is just about done. And now I'm gonna have to put in nobody. <laughs> now <laughs> this is Diablo, but I'm gonna call him nobody for a reason. You're gonna have to find out why in the end. Yeah, there's a movie out there I just saw. It's called Nobody. You gotta go see that one, guys. But it's really about a guy who's very unassuming. You would never know that he was, uh, uh, you know, a, a really uh, a handful. But Diablo is a handful. He doesn't look like much. 
He, you would never suspect this little guy could make all the difference in a battle, but that's what he does. Battle after battle after battle. He will go after beacons. He will run right up to a Titan. I'm watch this, guys. I'm going to go right in here. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and hit my little, uh, I'm going to dance right on out of that little heat wave. I'm going to just play with it a little bit, grab that beacon, go back over here, see if I can finish up that, 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 uh, you see that Loki up there? Uh, oh, my, that guy, they should get him. They should be able to get him, but they're not. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can finish this guy off and I think I just about got him and boom got that kill oh then I go ahead and hop out of that area grab that beacon then hop out of here and go off to something else I tell you what Diablo <laughs> nobody is about as good as they come in deciding the outcome of, bat of a battle. There's a reason I open up with him last. I never open up with him. I always close with him, I should say. Watch this. Dancing right through fire. I don't care. I'm just here to win a win again. I'll, just, I'll come back to you, Mr. Ming, in a second. I gotta go grab this beacon first. Uh, look at that. Where, where are they at? They're at a four capper. We're gonna turn that around. I'm gonna get this beacon, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that Ming with my orbital strike. I'm gonna go back here and grab this beacon. Guys, <laughs> Diablo can do it all. Diablo is a closer. He is making all the difference in the world. Yeah, they're gonna. I just hit the hit the little uh, face shift, and I'm gonna go ahead and look at this, guys. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Me, I'm nobody. Hmm. That ain't much of an answer. Trust me. It's answer enough. That's rich. Yeah, that is pretty rich. <laughs> that is Diablo. He is not nobody, as you can see. He may not look like much, but he is a handful and a half, and very few reds can deal with him as he goes through and just does what he does. You know, from capping beacons uh, to uh, running uh, distraction uh, plays to do all, all sorts of things. If you don't have a Loki and you want to learn how, come watch my video, guys. I'll show you how. And thanks so much for stopping by and watching the video. Video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope there's something there you can learn. Uh, not so much on brawling skills, but on things that you can do with a, a Loki if you get one in your deck. And for sure, guys, if you see your name, thanks for the game. Peace out.